come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Hmm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. What is this? Oh, it smells spicy. Oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I thick as thieves since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. And that's how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons, but this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, 
Is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. Oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat?
It's just, despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wurklamat's request? I thought you might say that. With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us, with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had, all the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly.
You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on then. Let's hear it. Hm. Then you need me as much as I need you. Together we'll blaze new trails in Tural. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? Alpha no, Alize! What are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Aaronville's toads. A hundred things about us you could have told her, and you chose that! First impressions last. It is an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister, Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald, yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolal, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? Nonsense! Like I told you before, you're indispensable. They're strong, eh? But strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. <clears throat> As I recall, Kryl, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadel's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. But, Ra. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora.
there. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world, created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural.
When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Indeed. It will be a grueling task having to contend with them. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> Then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Aye, this will be a mission to remember. Come, my friend, we make for Tarar. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's north? The fabled golden cities of the New World? 